most healthcare leaders have probably tried to mimic their counterparts in the technology industry more than was warranted. So it's another way of saying um, it is a lot easier to be the CEO of a major technology company than the CEO of a hospital or a CEO of a health plan because running a hospital and a health plan is actually a lot harder than running a company that makes you know, Fitbits or makes widgets that I wear on my wrist. Um, it's another way of saying, I think leaders in healthcare have to be a lot more humble about the tremendous complexity of what they're doing. The solutions will be harder to come by. It's highly unlikely that what fixes healthcare is a single technology or a single app, but that's often the confidence with which they speak, and that worries me uh, a lot. I think leaders have also got to be far more sophisticated in understanding evidence. So it's very common for me to meet a leader who says, we've done this and it saved that. So they'll say, you know, we came up with the program to target high cost patients and that reduced medical spending by 12%. So that's a typical statement, you hear that all the time. It turns out that if you scratch under the surface, what really this hospital did was they found that spending on high cost patients had fallen 12% before and after their program went into effect. But what they forgot was that spending on high cost patients falls even if you do nothing to high cost patients. So patients are high cost one day and then they're low cost the next day, right? And so again, so you often hear people thinking that the program that they implemented generated a lot more value, saved a lot more money, or improved outcomes a lot more than it actually did just because they're not particularly sophisticated in thinking about evidence. I don't think it's there. I don't think you need the hospital CEO to be trained on this, but you need a staff and a team around him or her helping this person make sense of what works and what doesn't in their system. I think that I think healthcare leaders tend to be incredibly aspirational often uh, about what is working in their system relative to, to the actual evidence for it.